Jonathan Pico calls this his robot leg, and the fact that he can do this is almost miraculous. In Jonathan's case, he had no movement below the level of his injury at all. It was a sunny day back in May 2005 when Pico was working at a construction site. We were on a canopy that day um, over a doorway and my safety rope got tangled up and as I stepped back to untangle it, I stepped through a hole and fell. In the 20-foot fall, the safety ring jammed into his back, shattering a vertebra. Pico was told he'd likely never walk or feel anything below his mid-back. But within two days, he was in surgery. Doctors cleaned up the bone fragments and stabilized the spine with titanium implants. Then doctors applied a drug called Cethrin directly to Pico's spinal cord as part of a clinical trial. Firstly, it reduces cell death, so there's some cells uh, in the spinal cord that are injured but still alive but vulnerable and potentially it might rescue those cells. And the second mechanism of action, it enhances plasticity. This is where uh, nerve cells can send out new connections. What we found was that 31 percent of those individuals uh, showed a fairly substantial degree of neurological recovery. Pico feels lucky he was part of the drug trial. Though he may never actually walk down the street again, he knows he can walk around his home. With some effort, uh, I mean, it, I have to use a walker and it's, it takes some time, but it, it's there, yeah. Beatrice Politi, Global News.